节目由 Happy Hair 赞助播出。In the extreme ice-bound regions of the Earth, something unprecedented is happening. Everywhere, glaciers and ice sheets have begun breaking apart and accelerating towards the oceans faster than ever imagined possible. Can we put the brakes on it at any point? Do we have that much control over? There are concerns that we get to some point that the changes become pretty much unstoppable. As scientists try to predict what the ice will do next, photographer James Baylog risks everything to capture what's happening on film. This is one of the scariest, dumbest things I've done in my life. Where I'm laying right now was underwater just six hours ago. His incredible imagery is witness to one of the Earth's most powerful geological forces. A force that, for the first time in modern human history, is radically changing the planet. James Baylog has a near fatal attraction to ice. Oh God, that is intense. A fascination that is leading him farther and deeper into the cryosphere, the frozen regions of the Earth. I feel like I'm not on planet Earth right now, like I'm in truly some extraterrestrial environment. The world isn't supposed to look like this. What began as a photographic assignment has become a mind-blowing odyssey into an unpredictable world where entire landscapes teeter between solid and liquid states. On the Greenland ice sheet, a crack opens, and a lake more than a kilometer wide pours down a 900-meter chasm. But this water is just drilling down into the ice sheet. One of the world's biggest glaciers shears off an iceberg that is nearly 300 meters thick. You're not supposed to be able to witness things like this. Human beings don't generally get to see these massive features of the landscape changing and vanishing in front of your eyes. Changes in the ice are normal. It is volatile and constantly in flux. But what Baylog is witnessing suggests something extraordinary is going on. His passion is to document it and help scientists understand these monumental changes. Many of the changes we're seeing are unfolding faster than our ability to really understand them. As scientists try to figure it out, Baylog is finding evidence to help answer some of these questions. Got it. His extreme ice survey is the largest photographic study of the cryosphere ever attempted. He's deploying 26 time-lapse cameras on glaciers across the northern hemisphere and programming them to shoot one frame every daylight hour for three years. It's a massive challenge in some of the most hostile regions on Earth. So everything we're trying is getting thwarted trying not to be frustrated. But the pain is starting to pay off, with thousands of frames revealing unparalleled changes in the ice. My hope is that it will be powerful and immediate enough that people will say, yeah, I get it, I understand it, okay, this is real. The fact that the ice is changing is nothing new. Over the millennia, the expansion and contraction of ice across the continents has fundamentally altered the planet. Gouging out lakes and valleys and pushing man around the Earth. In the past, the cycle of ice ages and periods of warming was caused mainly by shifts in the Earth's orbit around the Sun. But now, humans seem to be driving these changes. Our burning of fossil fuels has speeded up the output of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, which trap heat in the atmosphere.
temperatures are climbing and the ice is melting faster than ever. I think that if we stay on the path we're on, we will change the amount of land ice and therefore we will change sea level. The real questions, the more complicated ones, are how fast are we going to get there? How much is it going to rise? Can we put the brakes on it at any point? It's the speed of the melting that is the most astonishing thing. And nowhere is it happening faster than in the glaciers along the west coast of Alaska. Over the last 40 years, temperatures have risen by about two degrees Celsius, twice as fast as the global average. Now, these huge rivers of ice are flowing faster and crashing even more spectacularly into the sea. Some people are taking advantage of the spectacle while it lasts. Surfers, towed in by jet skis, are playing a dangerous game of chicken with the ice. It is rapidly carving glaciers like these that are the main contributors to rising sea levels. Alaska's Columbia is one of the biggest ocean-feeding glaciers in North America. In the early 1980s, the Columbia started flowing faster and began carving far more ice into the ocean than was being replenished by snowfall upstream. Baylog and the Extreme Ice Survey glaciologists are trying to figure out how much ice the Columbia is losing and whether or not it can survive. In the shallow waters of Columbia Bay, melting icebergs jam up before being carried away with the tide. This is the end of the line for the Columbia, a crystal maze of deteriorating ice that draws Baylog in. Basically, we're looking at a whole landscape full of crystals. It's a cool spot. There's a lot of power here. It seems to be calm. It seems to be still. But there's this constant energy of the sea coming and going and carrying this huge glacier away. Every time you go in here, you're taking a risk because these bergs are inherently unstable but you get seduced by the beauty of it. You know, you just get drawn in. It's like the, the sirens of Columbia Bay pulling you in, luring you in, going, come to me, come to me, come to me. And you just keep following these beautiful objects back through the labyrinth. But okay, Jeff, right about on this line here. The light that really makes these sculptures come alive is bouncing off the surface of the water. So the bergs are licked from within. At the Extreme Ice Survey Camp, glaciologist Tad Pfeffer tracks the flow of the Columbia. The Columbia is so vast, it's hard to imagine it vanishing. Pfeffer and his colleague Shad O'Neill are taking its vital signs 